Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to write to a plist on your device compared to providing a plist in your resources folder initially. Obviously a resource aka a plist that is in your resources folder will still be on your device but if you create or write to a plist it actually stores it in a separate area on your device that is linked to your application. It's application storage so you don't need to worry about the technical side of that all you need to know is when you write to it it won't be like part of this resources folder or anything like that so for us to create a plist file pretty simple we need to do underscore underscore dictionary and I'm going to call this dictionary equals to dictionary create and now what I need to do is set objects in my dictionary that I actually want to save to my plist file that's basically all I need to do so to do that I'm going to do dictionary set object and this object I'm just going to do an integer so underscore underscore integer this is how you do integers in Cocos 2DX for dictionaries colon colon create I'm just going to put the value 4 in here and the key string is the actual key that you are storing your value at so for this I'm going to put underscore underscore string colon colon create for this, I'm going to put key name int get c string, and now when we actually write to the file, it will write the value for as an integer to the key key name int. Let's just do a bunch of others, and then we can show you how to read data from a written plist. So change this to underscore underscore float. I'm just going to change this to 5.67. I'm going to change this to float. I'm going to change this to underscore underscore string. And for the string, I'm going to put hello. I'm Batman. And for the key name, I'm going to put key name string for this one, I'm going to put underscore underscore bool create true key name bool and yeah, that's all we need and now what we need to do is underscore underscore string call this file name so this is the file that you want to save it to if the file exists then it will save it to that particular key and if that key already exists and it has a value it will just overwrite it but if the file doesn't exist it will just create it that's all done in the back end of Cocos so that you don't have to worry about any of that I'm just going to put create and I'm just going to call it file name dot plist not very original but you'll get the job done now I need to do underscore underscore string file path equals underscore underscore string colon colon create with format and for this I'm going to put percent s percent f First of all, we need to do file utils colon colon get instance. Now get writable path. So this is just getting the path where we're going to write our file to. So c underscore string and the last parameter is well file name aka what we're calling it so where so this is essentially where we're going to save it 
and again you don't need to worry about this this is just getting the right location for your application on your device and this is the file name you should put this as get C string now finally all I need to do is dictionary write to file I need to put file path get C string and now we can run this in our simulator okay these values have now been written to these keys you might be thinking there's no proof of this and at the moment you can't see any visual proof because you're just writing data so let me show you how to actually read that data and what I'm going to do is is actually just comment out all of this and show you the entire process for reading data so to do that just do underscore underscore string asterisk file name this is exactly what we did here so for this I just gonna copy and paste it just be a little naughty so again what we're doing is the file name that we're going to read data from and the path where this file is the next thing we need to do is underscore underscore dictionary dictionary equals underscore underscore dictionary colon create with contents of file so we're not doing just regular create we're going to create it with the contents of a particular file and for this it's going to be file path get c string and now what we need to do is let's do a bunch of logs I'm going to do int value colon percent i so first of all we're just going to read the data that was our key name int which should and will be for and to do that you just do dictionary value for key do key name int or whatever your key you set and now I just need to do int value I'm going to copy and paste that four times change this to a float change this to a string change this to ball change this to float change this to string ball I'm going to change this to f because we've got a float value this to s and this to d so it's going to print it as one or zero so what we need to do is also change these so I'm going to put float value for this it's get c string and finally this one is bool value so now if we run the file actually before I run it what I just want you to look is when we run it it won't actually be saving it anymore so it's going to retrieve data that has already been saved and to actually properly iterate this I'm just going to quit the simulator so the simulator has now shut down I'm going to relaunch it not write any data to my device but just read it and it's going to read what was saved before so I'm just going to do command R okay there you go we it says four five point six seven hello I'm, I'm Batman and the value one obviously there's nothing on screen because well we haven't put anything on screen but that's how you read values that have been written to your device and this is how you basically write values to a P list and create a P list if you have any questions feel free to post them on sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash question.php 
there'll be a link in the description to that there'll also be another link in the description to our cocos api guide which has this in written form so if you want to check that out and just copy and paste it feel free to do that please rate comment and subscribe as it does really help keep the content free plus it also helps us provide more content to you on a regular basis and as usual thank you for watching and i hope you have a great day